Hi guys, sorry if there's a bit of a hiss in the background. I'm sitting next to my computer while it's uploading the pizza tray hovercraft video um, and thinking about the next project to do with one of these hairdryer fans. And I thought I might just convert this rubber band powered car to a ducted fan car. It'd be a fairly easy conversion, but I thought I'd better just go through the components first because what I'm going to do is go and give it a coat of paint to make it look pretty. So at the moment what we've got is one of those cardboard tubes that you get um, crisps in. It's already got quite a few holes in it because we had a couple of axles going through it. My usual CD with bottle caps hot glued on it either side and a barbecue cane for the axle. At the front of this car we've got a ball pen tube which is the tube that the axle goes through. So it runs nice and low friction. I'll put another one of them through the back so we've got tubes either end. And this fella, the fan, is a nice fit right inside. So I'll mount that inside, bring the wires for the batteries outside and mount the batteries on the outside somewhere. And as I say, I'll give it a coat of paint so it looks pretty. That's the paint job nearly finished. Just need to put the cockpit, or whatever you call it, where the driver sits, up here somewhere. And that'll be done. So what I'll do now is fit the motor and I think I may actually put the battery just down in the back here so it's easy to switch on and off. I'm shifting the front wheels back a bit so that I can just put the motor straight in the front there. Soldered some nice long wires onto the back of the motor and onto the connector onto the battery and I've put a micro switch there so I can switch it on and off. And that's a bit of hook and loop or velcro on the battery. I should just run a little bit of hot glue around the edge of this to hold it in place. That's my driver. It's one of my garden ornaments I used for another project. So that's what's left of him. So he can sit on there. For a bit of extra fun I've got some ribbon here that I've cut into shreds and I'm going to glue that just inside there so that hopefully the fan will blow it around a bit. Test run time! Summary time. What have we got here? We've got one of those cardboard tubes that the crisps come in. We've got a hairdryer fan. 
we got four CDs with bottle caps hot glued to them and barbecue skewers as the axles. Uh, we got a drinking straw for the front axle to go through and I've actually got a ball pen tube for the back axle. I could have used ball pen tubes both ends or I could have used straws both ends but that just happened to be what I had available. I've got a bit of ribbon at the back there, supposed to indicate the flames coming out the back. Not that you actually have flames out the back of a ducted fan, but I thought it looked a bit different for a change. Underneath there is the battery that powers it, 9 volt battery with an on-off switch on it. And the little smiling face is off one of my garden ornaments. Oh, and a bit of clear plastic for the windscreen. And that's it. I like that one. Looks pretty.